all right what's up and welcome back to the channel this is the pro cool geek and in today's video what we want to do is we're just going to go through a quick live stream and show you how guys how to quickly detail a column using pro cool pads okay now if you remember if you also are new to my channel i had a series that i was working on called how to design a double story building in procon and in autocad and in that series i had finally reached the part where i was detailing the column so unfortunately due to work and other projects um i've taken time off but if you know i've decided to do a couple of live stream sessions just to keep the channel busy and also to educate to just show you what i am doing or some of the things that i'm currently doing so this is one of those videos where i want to show you guys how you can quickly detail a column because this is the part that i am now about to do for this current column that i have which i have already gone and drawn all the line work for the column which is one 220 by 220 column on base g on a certain grid h f so what we need to do now is just to put the steel for this because i already went and designed it but we can go through the design so that you also have an idea of how it was done so the first one part we can do with is the 4165 part okay so this is the file that i used to design in our case we had a 220 by 220 column so what you do is you just come there and put hs 220 bs 220 so i was dealing with the cover of 16 no oh, 10 to the lengths and preferably a bar maximum of size 32 so that would give you about 16 to the middle of the, the steel but you can just approximate that to 45 and 45 right so we, we we're looking at even the maximum bar size in, in this case but even if we don't get a maximum bar size we would still be good and then the length we decided to use 4.165 or i decided to use 4.165 because we're designing this column in two parts the first part is the one that comes from the base all the way to the monolithic beams and the other part is that that comes from the beams and all the way to the eaves beams so the first part is 4165 then the other part is 2500 just to verify that if you come to this one uh l o is 2.5 and if you come to the other one as you see no okay this is the previous it's 4165 yes and then one thing that you need to remember is the bracing and unbraced conditions i'll discuss about this more in another video but basically for this one it's a double story and it will have walls right through around it so all those columns which will be anchored all surrounded by walls in effect on that flow we assume them to be braced because those walls are adequate enough to provide bracing for a structure and in our case since we are anchoring the bars into the base right over there that is the status we already designed the status since the status will anchor into the base this is going to be partially fixed same applies when it comes to uh the monolithic beams as well some of the steel is going to go in there and also the steel from the beam is going to anchor into the column so there's a moment that will be generated there so we're just going to call them partially fixed as well a full fully pinned and fully fixed detail i'll try and show you when i show you the difference between a pinned and fixed column all right so now that we have this done let's just go back to show you so the first part obviously we wanted to design was the bottom part then when it comes to columns you put the affected loads that is just the total and in case i just put the worst case which was 800 kilonewtons and you see we did not include any moment in there because we're assuming it's going to transmit only an actual load and this actual load it will be going straight to the base of the column okay and also by selecting partially fixed and partially fixed we have taken care of those moments or taking the assumption for those moments so procon will automatically do that for us in the calculation so obviously we designed this and it told it told us that we needed four y20s for the bottom section of the column and when it comes to the top section of the column which is the 2.5 when we designed it it told us we needed 16 so that is what we need to do we just need to put the steel as you see we designed them separately which is okay and a cool thing that you can do because once you try to design them continuously that does not take into account the actual toxicity that is happening in the middle of your column it will be one column from the top to the roof 
but then it breaks wherever you have the beams and where you have your bases so when you design them you have to design them separately so in this case the only thing that you need to do is to know that for the bottom part you need four y20s and for the top part you need four y16s so now i'm going to show you how you detail all of that when it comes to the actual pads drawing so the first thing that you want to do is you want to go to pads and do your line work in our case we already had the line work done okay so that is good for us so all we need to do is to place our first bars so also before we place our first bars we need to know about splicing your bars what is splicing your bars so generally splicing of reinforcement or bars sometimes you can have one bar going through all the way because the distance that is needed for the bar is too huge in our case maybe 6 15 whatever meters so you need to splice them or to join two bars together so that they can adequately transfer the force from one bar to another bar in our case transferring the bar from a 16 at the top to a 20 at the bottom because you need two different diameters at the top and at the bottom so in this section you're going to have 16s next section you have 20s so you definitely need to lap your bars and wherever you have a beam separating the two parts of this column you need to have splices so there are two ways of splicing it you can splice them with cranked bars i think i've showed you and this is what we have when you come to this this is a cranked bar but then there's something that you need to note cranking of bars should be avoided as far as possible since it causes bursting forces and tends to induce cracking so the other way they can do it is to put what they call button bars where you join your bars this is the bar that is on top the bar on top then you just put a splice like this but then this will be different when it comes to columns to show you that uh let's just say columns and then we go top 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 we just want to do this as quickly as possible so that you see how you splice your bars when it comes to columns so i'm just going to rush through this there you go you can either crank the bars as C and C, or you can go like D, where you have this bars, additional bars, and then you have the splice. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna have loose splices instead of crank bars. So that is what we're gonna do. So let's start placing the bars. So what we were told is we need 20s at the bottom. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna LY just to create a construction line, then LY just to create a construction. Then what we're gonna do is we want to do RB. We want to put shape with 20, so it's gonna be 20 diameter bar, okay? and you change the mark from a to one reduce with cover in this case we don't want to reduce with cover so what you're going to do is what this is what you're going to do you're going to take a 20 right so actually i should have placed an l bar first so i'm just going to rp to repeat that so we still have a 20 bar mark one and wait a minute just escape rb tick on reduce with cover then grab your 20 then i'm going to go to this part and then go to what i'll do is just snap the in this case as you can see we have a bar that comes from the top of the slab which is going to lap with the stutters then go all the way to just beneath the beam at the socket of the beam so b8 to copy that bar then b3 just to drag it to this point and you are good to go if you want you can just drag them outside a bit then b4 to drag them outside a bit then you have placed your first bars so what we're going to do is let me just remove this this is not necessary at now the next thing that you want if you are quick or if you're impatient what you can do is you can say r1 select this bar okay then go to this point select the position where you want the text to be and then go to the command line and then just say 4 y 20 is bar mark 1 then remove the b2 okay so as you can see on the bending schedule it automatically creates those four y bars they are already now on the bending schedule if you want to make this fancy this is what you do what you do is you just go there then copy the circle b3 it to this point escape then ei since you already know this is going to be four bars what you do is you say two by two y20 bars the reason why you're saying two by two by 20 bars is because at this section they see two bars but you're just telling them there are also going to be two other bars when you see the section from a different view all right so there you go you have your first bars which are the main bars so your two y 20s bar mark one next you need to put the splicing bars so the lap when it comes to a 20 what you will do is let's go all the way to annex d right uh let's go nxd this is nxd what you're gonna do is file rotate to the right and in this case we have grade 25 concrete and we are in compression so uh left for in compression laps this is it 
So grade 25, 33 more plus of the diameter. In our case, it's 22, so the minimum has to be 600. We'll go with 700. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna LP this by 700. All right, that looks good to me. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna LX at this point, right? And just to make it uniform so that these guys, even on site, they do not put any mistakes in case they may change the 700 goes to where they need a 600. Because if you check, if it's a 16 bar, 33 multiplied by 16, it's a 530, but they could change it. So sometimes it's just good to keep it symmetrical. Then you're gonna RB, Make sure reduce the cover is removed then you're going to go with the 20 select this point to this point and then you go ba then b3 to copy it to this point and you are good to go all right now if you want to indicate this bar just r1 go to this position then change then you're going to have four again four of these then remove the other two and voila there you go then what you're going to do is you're going to copy this b3 paste it there then ei okay then two by two to indicate you're gonna have two of this oh the other thing that you want to do now you're going to be lapping this these are going to be 16s not 20s so the moment i change the bar they check the bending schedule okay wait 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 something happened something wrong happened so we're going to ei and we just want to change i changed the shape code not the diameter so change the diameter please and there you go the bar has changed then the next thing change this one as well to a 16 and check the bending schedule you change from a y20 to a 16 then all you have to do is ei you can always change this text actually we had put it as a z so we need to change it from y20 to y16 and you're good to go now the last thing we need to do is just to put the bars which are going to go all the way into the eaves beam in this case this is going to be shaped with 37 so lx at the top at the top we always leave a cover of 50 that's a rule of thumb if you want it's also a good rule just remember so not anything you can leave 30 but just 50 is good for you now next rb then select select sorry select um what you call this select 37 don't reduce the cover so now we snap to where the 30 50 mark is then you're going to bring this all the way there then you're going to add this there then what you want to do is now select the bar okay wait let's edit the bar first and ei so the leg we're going to take it down to 200 12 by 16 gives you 192 minimum so we're just going to make it 200 then what you want to do is you're going to be a then b5 selected by there select there then you just want to copy so press c and there you go then if you want b4 to move it then move it to this position and you're good to go now the next thing that you want to do is you want to indicate this bar so you just want r1 r1 or you can go to rebar all the way to one bar right select the bar that you want select the position you want the text In this case we're still going four so this is bar mark three and voila there you go then you're just going to copy this then b3 take it to this position then ei then remember it's two by two two x two y oh i don't know why i'm still keeping y20s it's supposed to be y 16s this is good so y 16 change there then also change this from 20 to 16 now i want you to check what happens at this side it's 4y20s the moment i put a 16 it automatically updates the bending schedule for me as well if i tell it two by the way so that's 16 and that's 16 and then you say yes and you're good to go so as we can see we have pretty much zoned oh i was putting too many circles there i don't know what was happening so we have pretty much zoned all the bars that we need so i'm just gonna have to remove a couple of this oh wait e e let me just e e to remove what i want let me just uh, go back all right so erase edit edit it for or just e e select what i want to remove and escape and we're good to go the next thing that we need to do is once you've done this you've basically placed the main bars of your columns and you're done this is easy this is how you easily detail a column it's as easy as this there's no two things involved there's not too much things i think columns are the easiest thing for you to detail if you want to start structural detail right now the next thing that you want to do is you just want to drop the section so obviously you're going to go to your layers in this case you have the sections so that is layer two which is at uh 
a scale of 20 so what we're gonna do we're gonna change to 2 do you know no 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 turn the previous layer off no you don't want to turn the previous layer off you just want it to be you just want to leave it on so what you're gonna do is you're gonna push this all the way to the side let's push it to about the now everything that we're drawing we're now drawing it on layer 2 so e6 to remove so the lines and the width will be different so remember this is a 220 column so we're just gonna want 10 at this side and we're just gonna want 10 at this side i just still think this looks a little bit small so what we're gonna do is we're gonna change from 10 from 20 to 10 right so click yes then we're just gonna say ly okay then lp by 110 all right then lp again by 110 then we're gonna lx then we're gonna lp this time by 220 all right that looks good to me then we're gonna lb to draw a box then lg to get a line so lg line get then ls line set so now we have a solid box then the next thing that we're gonna do right i'm also gonna change another to create another layer which just says sections for codes sections for codes all right so don't worry about it then we're also gonna make sure this one is a layer of 20 20 i'll see why i want it to be there no don't just take sight but still we are on layer 2 you can check when you go to the and says l2 next thing that we want to do is we now want to put the links so we're just going to rb and in this case we're just going to say sa because it's going to be stair of a select the bar but this time you wanted to reduce the cover with 30 so you're going to select the bar select that part select that part select that part so i think i put the wrong bar size so we're just going to see control z then rb yes because the diameter was 20 that is why it was off in this case we want it to be y8 because it told me length size of r8 at 200 is okay you see so what we're gonna do is we're gonna say rb this time around make sure it is definitely diameter 8 change this back to sa reduce the cover is ticked select this portion select this portion select this portion there you go your link has been well placed the next thing just rebar then go to dot select the diameter of the bar in our case we want it to be 20 okay right then we're gonna place the 20 bar there then place it at that corner and place it at this corner and place it at this corner so there you go you have successfully placed your bar next what you want to do is text and in this case we're just gonna say this is bar mark one and that is good then ei all right so just escape to get out of there then ei select that bar then change the height to 2.5 it doesn't have to be 10 change the bar to 2.5 all right looks good then b4 to change it down then b3 to copy it to this point then b to copy everything and then b3 just to indicate this bars so what you can do as well select them then b4 to move them a bit like this and that looks good for me so now you have your section if you want you can label it so you can just b3 take it down like this so b3 take it down like this ei then what you say is you're gonna say section in this case i think it was rr we'll see so we have section rr and section qq so this will be section qq so section qq so this is section qq looks good and we're just going to change this to five then the pen will need to change to four all right so that is good then change it to this point looks good looks good this is good section qq then we also need to have a section r r so what i'm going to put it there then i'm going to b3 take it uh, b3 to copy it put it up then ei to change it to section r r then we get then in section rr we're gonna have the fixing links right no actually we won't have the fixing links but what we can do to make sure that uh able to they're able to see what we want let's just remove this boss so we're gonna deal with we also want to place the fixing links now so what we're gonna do is uh remember what you're gonna have is you're gonna rd then you're gonna have 16 bars which you need to place inside your column somewhere around this position somewhere around this position and somewhere around this position all right so this bars will need to be held by a fixing link before you introduce right 
or actually it will be a 16 and a 16 so it can be let me show you what it doesn't have to be a 20 this one has to be a 20 and a 16 to 16 and a 16 so you go rd then you put a 16 that you're gonna put somewhere in this position somewhere in this position as well then just somewhere in this position somewhere in this position as well okay so how do you put the fix and links so all you need to do is uh, E6 and remove everything LY go to this position go to this position and what you want to do is you offset by the cover so offset inwards by the cover which is LP and LP then what you're gonna do is you're gonna RB and in this case you're gonna say it's a fixed link so we're gonna have for one right it's still gonna be Y8 reduce with a cover of uh, 30 as well select the bar this time around you don't go to the edges of the column you go there 30 inwards 30 there but then you go still to the edge of the column and there you go as you can see the bars are neatly held in position by your fixing links so if you want you can change this to say pen 4 okay so that there's a bit of a difference between the main link and the fixing link so what you would want to do is now to just show that this bar is different from this bar all right and b3 so that they know the inner bars are different so the inner bars will be twos and the outer bars will be threes so all you need to do is ei change this to two no actually it's three the outer bars will be threes and the inner bars will be twos okay and this is going to be a two so some of you be asking now what will be holding these bars you will tie these bars together using clips so that is the the twos remember are the splices so this will be a three as well and since you're feeling lazy all you have to do is just delete this then b3 then b3 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 then placing them there and you are done you have successfully placed your sections then the next thing that you would want to do is let's see if it's too big or if it's not too big so copy to the side like this then ei change it from y then take it to zero all right let's see before let's move it it appears to be too big so what we're going to do the easiest thing is remember i created a layer called sections for columns so what we're going to do let me e, e this let me just copy ba there's three there's two i mean copy them to this position then we're just going to highlight them then block go to block then go to change and down there it says type the item to change we're going to put l for layer so we want to change the layer from two to three for these items now just try and follow where they went if you cannot see them all it means is just retry so b a and b3 so b3 copy everything again then b b selected then b zero then zoom out then say you want to change the layer from two to three and voila wait let me see layer three is not open so that is the reason why now you see that is the problem layer three was not open so we're just gonna ee -E to remove because now we have too many of them layer three was not on not that it was not open it was not on so we're gonna b4 all right now we're gonna say the main link which is the one in blue just move it to this position like this then ei then what you're gonna do is what you want to do is change the sign from negative one to zero like this and b4 move it down there a bit then r3 to zone it so ly just put ly there then what you want to do is you want to zone it at two different parts so what you want to do is maybe say r5 to zone it in two parts so zone multiple bars right one bar in multiple zones so select the bar where's the first zone start then it ends there then where does the second zone start starts there and then ends there where do you want the text to be select uh, escape now that we're done where do you want your text you want it to be there the spacing what is it going to be it's going to be 200 so do you want to reduce it with cover yes you want it to be reduced with the cover in this case you're gonna have three there and oh sorry sorry i was doing it in the wrong now that we want to zone them this is what we're going to do first uh change this one as well just ei 
change it to zero from negative one to zero right i should have done this better off so bh to select it then b4 to move it then put it somewhere there don't worry if it doesn't look as if it'll fit it'll definitely fit once it gets there this is just the arrangement the exploded view if you want you can even push these bars but just just, just leave it like that now what we're gonna do is go back to layer one the columns and now to zone this bar is just r3 then zone start zone end then go to this position and the end of the zone ah wait 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 right we need to remove that bar i don't know why it's now there just remove it on the bending schedule let's just repeat right so control z to then r5 select this part then select this part then select this part right then also this zone and then it ends at this zone then escape then select the text position where do you want the text position to be i think i'll put it there 200 b1 reduce recover yes i want it to reduce recover so you're gonna have 12 bars at the top and then you're gonna have 22 bars there so what you're gonna do is you want to be four push it to this side but i think we can push it back to the middle it's still readable if you want or if you want take it down like this and i think that is good so what it's just showing you showing that you're gonna have 34 y8 sa 200 b uh what you want to do is maybe just change this because it's not going to be b1 it's going to be in the links 200 links and that looks good so you're gonna have 22 there then you're gonna have 12 there this is how you detail the bars in multiple zones so what is just showing that in this beam it will not be there so this is where the blue lines are is where your bars will be zoned in right and as you can see the arrow is actually pointing where the bars will be zoned in now the next thing that you would want to do is to zone the fixing link so this one what you can do is you can just indicate them fixing links is all up to you you can just say the, the spacing is going to be set of spacing and just tell them that these are going to be the fixing links but if you want to be fancy what you can do is lx at this position then lx at this position then you're going to r3 then you're going to select the start of the zone end of the zone then say the text is going to be somewhere there although this is going to cramp up or crowd your place if you want let's just put this at 200 again then remove that and reduce recover yes there you go now it's showing you you're going to have your fixing links in this direction so 4y8 fixing links at 200 now once you've done this you've successfully detailed your column everything is shown you don't have any problems that's showing up they know to no way the eaves beam will be the soffit will be the first floor slab will be where there's two bars are there's two bars and also you have the other three bars now once you're done next thing you can do is you can print the sketch only in this case it's not going to fit with the sketch and the schedule so this is it print properties pages a4 okay okay and column 12 and there you go it shows up nice and clearly on the drawings for whoever is going to be erecting the structure wherever they will be so i'm going to just do some niceness to it in the end so that is site ready but this is basically the gist of it when you comes to detailing your bars as you can see there you have it you fix the links holding this two bars which are the laps and then you have the main links so they will have to remove the fixing links what they're done then the next thing that you want to do is then section qq there you have it it's nice and it's clear everything else is good i don't think there's anything that i haven't shown you everything looks good to me if there's anything else i think i've covered it as well so thank you very much for tuning in i now have to do the rest of this quickly without having to go through the tutorial but thank you for tuning in hopefully i'll be doing videos soon and tutorials soon on all the aspects that you've been asking me i think i'll do a staircase and raft foundation once i'm done with the project that i'm doing right now so thank you very much for tuning in until next time stay safe don't sneeze